What's up, Tiki Team? Welcome to the channel. My name's Spesh, helping you conquer the horde, and we are continuing on with our review of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies as we inch ever closer to Vanguard Zombies. And today we're going over from worst to best all the main quest easter eggs inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Coming in our very last spot, and honestly I think this is probably for everybody, is Operation Excision, the second Outbreak easter egg in between the first Outbreak easter egg and Mauer Der Toten. The easter egg itself honestly wasn't even that fun to complete, and the ending was just kind of like, uh, alright, I mean, it was pretty wild to think that maybe Raptor 1 was dead and Dick's out for Raptor 1, but nonetheless it was pretty lame how that whole easter egg took place. So Operation Excision takes 6th on our list. Coming in at number 5, I'm going to be going with the D Machina easter egg. Don't get me wrong, I love D Machina as a map, but the easter egg was just kind of so boring and lame. And honestly I can't even say that I blame them because it was basically just a setting of the story. They were basically explaining kind of what was going on while they were doing it, but the easter egg was super lackluster and the boss fight wasn't really a boss fight so much as a protect the boss fight. Again, D Machina was super fun, the boss fight, and the easter egg was kind of meh. Coming in at number 4 on our list, and this one's kind of tough for me, but I think I'm going to be going with Firebase Z. Now I know that might not get that much of attention and that might not be that exciting, but Firebase Z was just kind of the beginning of the Orta boss fights that we got for like 3 straight maps that never freaking ended. And I think the ending of Firebase Z was Samantha coming out of the portal wearing what seemed to be all the different gear from all of our former crew was super super cool, but nonetheless I think doing the easter egg itself felt more monotonous than anything. When I go back and look at the different maps to do easter eggs on, I do think that Firebase Z is probably the one that I want to do the least, simply because building the Ray K was kind of a pain in the butt, and while the mimic step wasn't that hard in the end, it's still just super annoying having to go around to these different areas of the map and accidentally killing the mimic, or, or maybe it's breaking out of its little chamber thingy and what have you, so I'm going to put Firebase Z at number 4. Now coming in at number 3 on my list is actually going to be Operatia Inversia, the very first Outbreak easter egg. In my opinion, Operatia Inversia is easily the hardest easter egg that we have inside of Cold War Zombies. Which which, I mean, isn't that crazy seeing as how Cold War Zombies is relatively easy to beat the Easter eggs, but beating Operatia Inversia was a lot of fun simply because it brought back a lot of the challenge that there is in this game. Being inside of the bunker on Ruka is such a thrilling but also kind of nerve-wracking place to be, and I remember the first couple times I'd do it, I got my cheeks absolutely clapped trying to get through the stupid bunker, and then the Legion boss fight's also not easy as well. I think overall this is probably the most fun easter egg, but the ending as well as the mid cutscene is just kind of meh in my opinion. It's not that exciting, but it does add a little bit to the story. Now coming in at number 2 on my list is going to be Mauer Der Toten. Mauer Der Toten is super super fun, and I think that Mauer has the best wonder weapon in the game in my opinion, and just seeing Berlin in general the way that we see it in that map was super fun. It also did kind of change the story arc a little bit as we were having to listen to Omega, and they were the ones that were communicating to us through our radios instead of Requiem, and then the plot twist at the end where Samantha opens the portal to bring us back I think was super super cool. And also the taking out of Valentina had so much impact on the storyline, I think that Mauer der Toten did a great job. And then coming in at number 1, obviously is going to be our most recent map, Forsaken. I think everything that Forsaken does for its easter egg is absolutely perfect. If I had to go back and complete an easter egg inside of Cold War Zombies over and over again, it would be Forsaken. It was one of those easter eggs where yes it was solved within 2 hours, but it was still pretty difficult for us to solve but it also was easily replicated after we did solve it. And I think that's what the rest of the zombies maps were missing. They weren't hard to do. They weren't hard to figure out those different kinds of easter eggs. They basically held our hands going through it. But the Forsaken easter egg didn't necessarily do that. And I can totally remember us just looking for that stupid red button next to those blinds that nobody could find, or trying to figure out how to get the car into the TV shop, and then blow off that panel so we could get the TV out of there. And then the Forsaken boss fight as well was super fun, and of course we have the lead up to the reveal of Richtofen, Requiem's arrested, five years later Peck's still alive, Samantha's back in the dark ether. I think Forsaken did everything right and totally led us in the right direction 
for the next Black Ops game. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. I want to give a big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel, and an extra special shout out to all of the Zombie Rigtoff members, starting off with hashtag Best Mod, Strict Archer, the Quippest Man in the Southern Hemisphere, Commander underscore Quip, and the Man the Myth the Legend, Tiz Brandon ZR.